Yo, what is up guys, it's your boy Jonathan Madrid, aka Young Jet Set. Uh, first thing I want to start off with, thank you guys for a thousand subscribers, I really appreciate it. Um, if, you guys if you guys follow me on Instagram, I told you guys I'm either going to do a $100 giveaway or I'm going to do a mentorship giveaway. So if you guys are interested, comment down below um, if you either want $100 bucks or one-on-one -on -one mentorship with me um, for like two or three weeks. But anyways, uh, before this video starts, like again, I just want to say thank you guys for a thousand subs. Also guys, before this video starts, I just want to say, leave a like on this video, it's not that hard, it takes like two seconds, um, and do me a big favor, if you guys aren't already subscribed, it would really mean a lot to me if you can hit that subscribe button tomorrow, I'm going to come up to 2,000 subscribers, um, we have a while to go, but I know we're going to get there with your guys' help, but yeah, so also on my Instagram, I asked um, if I should review one of your guys' Shopify stores, you guys said yes, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, um, I'm going to get my computer out and I'm going to review uh, one of your guys' Shopify stores and critique you. I'm going to give you tips and tricks on how to fix it up, what you should have, what you shouldn't have, what apps you should have, and so on. But yeah, let's go ahead and hop into this video and let's get started. Alright guys, so I'm on the store, I'm on the front page, so I like the pictures. Um, the only thing I would say, so for me, like I said guys, I like to go with the venture theme. Um, this theme is okay, but it doesn't really show the whole store, it doesn't really show um, everything about the store. So you really want a theme that shows, um, you know, what you have in the store, um, you know, just so, because people are more visual, you know, people like to see the product, people like to see the categories and all that. So I'd rather have um, venture because you can see pictures of the store, you can see the categories, the collections, all that. So for me, I would go with venture. So that's one thing um, with this. I would say if you're watching this, switch it over to venture. Um, also... I noticed there's not really like any products on the home page. I suggest having products on the home page because it grabs you know people's attention, especially if you have a product that everyone wants to need. So definitely have products on the front home page. Um, on top, it's black and red, buy one, get one free, free shipping worldwide. I think that's a little too much. Um, it's either, I would say either have the buy one, get one free or have free shipping worldwide. It's one or the other. Don't have two because it doesn't look too professional. Um, also, I noticed on the left side, you should have collections. So I haven't, you know, checked yet if you guys have like a whole bunch of different products, but I would say have different collections. So I don't know what store, what kind of store is this? Okay, so it's like a fashion store. I would have, you know, collections that have shirts, jackets, sunglasses, um, hoodies, all that. That way it's easier for the buyer to get around because you want it to make you want to make it easier for the buyer to get around your store. So make sure you have collections on the left hand side. So this is where like the theme venture comes in handy because the theme venture it has collections on top. Um, so it makes it easier for the person to you know find what they want and check out as fast as they can. Um, let's see, is this all the products? Uh, okay, I guess this is all. I also. Also, I would say I had way more products. You only have like, what, three, four, five, six, seven products on here. I had a lot more products, so I noticed you have um, hoodies. I had maybe like 15, 20 hoodies, and maybe add some shirts or add some, you know, sunglasses or just anything that's related to fashion, because it seems like you're doing the whole fashion niche. So I have products that have to do with fashion, um, because you definitely don't have enough products on here. Um, wow, 96, okay. Another thing I noticed too, I noticed this Rick and Morty, um, sweatshirt is, okay, never mind, I thought it was $96, my bad. Um, Rick and Morty sweatshirt is $29.99, originally $125. So make it kind of realistic, because $125 for a sweatshirt um, is kind of unrealistic. I don't think anyone would believe that this sweatshirt was $125. So make it like, originally like $40 or $50. Bucks. Make it originally um, $60 or $70, bucks, but $125 is a little too much. Um, but you do have the secure checkout, so that looks good. The secure checkout looks good. Um, you have very descriptive description, so that's always good. Um, I would say an app that I would download is the Timer Plus or Herify. Download Herify, that way it's a sense of urgency so people feel like they need to check out fast. So that's, that's what you want, download Herify, definitely. Um, also, I would say um, on, the bottom, on the bottom, maybe have frequently bought together. Um, just so you know the product page doesn't look too plain because right now your product page looks very plain um, It's not a bad thing, but you don't want it to look plain just because um, if it's plain it's boring You want it to make it look interesting make it look professional So I would say have frequently bought together like if you guys go on Amazon um, at the very bottom This is frequently bought together So that's that's one of the reasons why I like having frequently bought together because you know Amazon has it and if you have it It kind of makes it like okay, so um, if Amazon have it, they have it, so it's kind of like legit. Makes it, it makes your store look a little bit more legit, and you can upsell them. So be like Rick and Morty um, t-shirt, and then you upsell them on the frequently bought together. So say 
um, the Rick and Morty and you know Rick and Morty hat are frequently bought together so they can buy both of them at the same time so it's like you're getting more money if you have the frequently bought together um, app so yeah so definitely add more products because you only have seven on here um, let's see this sack it's pretty dope um, and you don't want to price it too cheap. So I know this jacket's actually really, like this jacket would be worth like 70, 80 bucks. So I would say maybe price this jacket a little bit more money um, just because it, it's a pretty cool jacket. Like I would spend 70, 80 bucks to buy this jacket. Um, 29, it, it kind of makes it seem like, okay, it's probably cheap, um, very cheap material. You know, it doesn't, um, if it's not expensive, then it's probably not, you know, good material. So you want to make it, you just want to make sure that you price your products the right price. Um, that way people are like, okay, so this is, you know, kind of, this is, this is the same price as it would be, you know, an active ride shop. This is the same price it would be at Forever 21. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and buy it because it's good quality and good material since it's, you know, 70, 80 bucks, right? But if it's 20, 29 and 30 bucks, but it's actually worth, you know, 70 or 80 bucks, people aren't going to buy it because they're going to think that it's cheap and you don't want them to think that it's cheap. Um, again, at her fives, a sense of urgency. Like I said, the descriptions look good. I love the pictures. Um, have frequently bought together the app. Let's see about us. Okay. Um, uh, about us. Okay. Pretty straightforward. Contact us. Um, okay. Pretty straightforward. Have your email there. Shipping due to high demand. Please allow shipping. All right. So, uh, personally, for me, I would take out the shipping just because. It's, it, you're gonna get a lot of emails, you know, asking in general, like how long is it gonna take for shipping? But if this is on your website, people are gonna be kind of skeptical to buy a product in the first place. So it'd be like, oh, two to three weeks to buy a product. I mean, two to three weeks to get my product. Like, I'm not gonna wait that long. There's no reason to order this when I can just order this here. Get two to three day, you know, shipping. So I would say take this shipping, um, take this shipping off because you're gonna scare customers away. And you don't want to scare customers away. You want to attract customers. So I would say definitely take the shipping off because once people see two to three weeks for shipping, they're off. They're out. They're not gonna buy it. No one wants to wait two to three weeks for um, to get their product. So definitely take that off. You're gonna scare customers away. Um, sizing chart. Um, I would say the sizing chart, I don't think it's needed um, for, I don't think it needs to have its own collection. Like maybe have it, you know, on, on the jackets, maybe have it like on each one of your, maybe have like the sizing chart on each one of your products. Um, but I wouldn't say make a whole collection for it. It's kind of pointless. It doesn't look professional. You don't see like Amazon or like um, eBay having like their own collection for a sizing chart. So definitely take that out. Um, terms of service. All right. Um, so that looks good. So the only thing, let's do a little rundown of um, what I went over. So what, what I meant, okay, so the first thing I knew, um, change the top. So it's either one or the other, free shipping worldwide or buy one, get one free, okay? Um, also change the theme, make it, you know, venture. That way it's easier for the customer to get around. That way they can visualize and see, you know, the different products and stuff like that. Um, also... Um, have more collections, so definitely have more collections. That way it's easier for the customer to get around. Um, take out shipping, take out sizing chart, does not look professional. Definitely add more products because you're in the fashion niche. So you wanna have more products and more of a selection so people can choose from. And maybe fix up the pricing, like do some product research and see you know what other people price you know their products at and kinda price it around that range or even less, um, but not too low, okay? And don't price it too high either. Um, but otherwise, your store looks good. Your store will look good um, once you finish all those things that I basically said to finish. So yeah, guys. So that is it for this video. Um, I just basically just went over his store, kind of reviewed it. If you guys want me to do more videos like this, I'll be more than happy to do that. So comment below um, if you guys want me to review your Shopify store. Or even, you know, just take a look at it and just give you, you know, some tips and tricks. Um, so yeah, comment below if you guys want me to review your Shopify store. Also, guys, do me a quick favor. If you guys aren't already subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Um, it really isn't that hard. It takes like two seconds. I'm pretty sure. It, yeah, just, just do it. Go ahead and click the subscribe button. It takes like two seconds. Um, uh, like I said, guys, I'm doing a giveaway. So I'm either going to give away 100 bucks or I'm going to give away a mentorship. So comment below if you either want 100 bucks or a mentorship. Um, with me one-on-one -on -one, basically on, hopping on calls texting step-by-step um, -step guide on you know Shopify store helping you know create sales and basically try to get you to you know your first you know thousand dollar day two thousand dollar day um, ten thousand dollar month fifty thousand dollar month but yeah um, comment below that also guys go ahead and leave a thumbs up let's try to hit 50 likes on this video I know we can do it let's bang this out guys we hit 50 likes on this video um, I might do a giveaway, so let's go ahead and do that. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and the 16-year-old entrepreneur is out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.